Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a suburban style house. By the way, just in case you have any more house related needs, feel free to check out the god system and the links below down in the description for my various house tutorial playlists. There are a lot of them and there's a lot of houses in those playlists. I'm sure that you'd be able to find something that you'd like to make. Moving on to the actual tutorial itself. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need some virtual planks and some block of quartz. Then grab yourself some quartz stairs and some stone brick stairs. Then grab yourself some quartz slab and finally grab yourself some white stained glass pane. And once you have each one of those materials right there and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here. You're going to want to kick off your house with a row of six birch wood planks coming directly up from the ground. That's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And once you have your row of six birch wood planks, you then want to place a block of quartz on top of that six block. Then on top of that quartz block, you want to place another row of six birch wood planks. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you want to place another block of quartz on top of that sick block to give you a row which should look a little bit like this. What you now want to do is you now want to take out your block of quartz again and you want to go right of each one of these two block of quartz blocks that we have right here and you want to go right of them each by 12. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and the top one as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What you then want to do is you want to connect those 12 blocks together with birch wood planks, but you also want to connect everything to the ground. So the shape that you want to form should look a little bit like this. Now, what you want to do next is this. Take out your block of quartz and come all the way up to the top left-hand side of where you just were. You're looking for this block that we have right here, this quartz block. On top of this quartz block, place an additional quartz block. Then from that block, do five upright diagonals with your quartz. So that's one, two, three, four, five. From that fifth upright diagonal, you then want to do a bottom right diagonals until you connect all the way back down to the equivalent block on the right hand side of the house. And what you want to end up with is something that should look a little bit like this, a nice triangular shape, and that's just the outline of the roof. Alright guys, so once you have that taken care of, this is what we're going to do next. So I'm now going to show you guys where the entrance is going to be, because I know quite a few of you guys out there like to know this information early on. So the entrance of the house is obviously going to be bottom center on the front of the house, and you just want to build this by, first of all, making the bottom row of the house birchwood planks, just do an entire row of birchwood planks. Then for the second row, you want to leave this middle block alone, and the two blocks either side of that middle block, you want to do a row of four quartz coming up from the adjacent birchwood plank, so that's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Then connect the top blocks together, and then do a single white stained glass pane just underneath that middle block. So you want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. That's where the entrance is going to be, guys. But just because you've built the entrance doesn't mean that you have decided that this is going to be the front side of the house. Once you've got that done, this is what you want to do next. So now decide which side of the house is going to be which side of the house. For instance, this could be the front of the house or this side could be the front of the house. This is going to be the front of my house. This is the front side. Once you've figured that out for yourself, you now want to come around the back and you now want to take each one of the six corners of the house. So these two bottom corners, these two middle corners, these two top corners. You want to take each one of those corners and extend them going back towards where the back of the house is, each by 13. So that's one, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and this bottom left hand corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and these two quartz ones as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and this middle right quartz, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
and these top two quarts as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And what we then want to do is we want to connect the back of the house together exactly... Uh oh, one of these rows is wrong guys, which is it? Ah, it will be this one, perfect. That's why we counted them all out, guys. So I just did an I did an extra block there. I must have done a row of 14 by accident. So what we want to do, guys, is we want to connect the back of the house together exactly how we connected the front of the house together. So we want to connect the quartz together horizontally, and then we want to connect everything together vertically with birch wood planks. So we just want to end up with something that should look. And we can also do an entire row of birch wood on the bottom as well as we did the front. And what we want to end up with is something that should look exactly like this, guys. Nice and simple, nice and simple. Nothing too difficult about that whatsoever. So, once you've got the back of the house taken care of, all we have to do is we also have to do the outline for the roof, which is exactly how it is on the front as well. So, coming up to the top left-hand side of the roof here, we just want to, on top of this block, place a quartz block, then do five upright diagonals going that way so that's one two three four five and then we want to do a bottom right diagonals until we connect to the equivalent block on the right hand side here so we just want to end up with a triangular shape that should look exactly like this perfect guys and this is pretty much the outline of the house we do also have a garage to do but we'll be doing that later on we'll do that after we've actually got the house completed so once you've reached this point right here guys it's now time for us to fill in the walls i think so i think it makes sense that we start with the front of the house so come all the way to the front of the house and we'll start with the bottom and we'll work our way up so this is what you want to do for the second row of the house, and we'll be doing this in rows, guys. For the second row of the front of the house, you just want to fill the second row in with birch wood planks. Like that. Then for the next row of the house, starting from the left-hand side here, we just want to do three white stained glass paint, then one birch wood plank, then move through the door and do one birch wood plank, and then free white stained glass pane like this and then we want to make the next two rows of the house exactly like that so you just want to do two more rows of the same so once you've done one just make the next row the exact same and you'll end up with something this is difficult guys precision with this glass pane you'll end up with something that should look like this and all you have to do to finish this bottom section is you just have to do a birch wood planks just in that last row for the bottom section and that's all you have to have guys there are a couple more things that we have to add on to the front after you've done this but that's the base part of the bottom of the house once you've done that we can now move up to the middle section so the middle section is also very easy the first two rows of the middle section is just birch wood planks so just two rows of birch wood planks like that then for the next bit going from left to right, it's pretty much the same pattern that we had down below, but a lot longer. So we'll do three white stained glass pane, then one birch wood plank, then three white stained glass pane, one birch wood plank, then three white stained glass pane. There you go. Then we hit the other side. And then we want to do that exact same thing to the next two rows as well. And then the last row will be birch wood planks. And then all you have to do is fill in these little center parts with white stained glass panes so we're just essentially doing the exact same thing that we did just below us except we're just adding an extra window in the center part whereas on the bottom we can't add an extra window as we have the entrance there so that's the center guys very easy nothing much to it whatsoever once you've got the middle part done we can now move up to the top part here the top part is very simple first of all we fill this bottom row in with virtual planks then the three middle blocks we place white stained glass paint on top of them and then on top of those we place another layer and then we just fill the rest of the area in with birchwood planks very very simple guys and in doing that we have the base for the front of our house and then i can show you guys all the little extra bits that we have to add so you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this at its core pretty simple guys now let me show you what you have to do now so first of all we just have to make a little walkway for the entrance very simple it's just stairs in the 
the center, quartz either side. Then underneath each one of the windows, we want to do three upside down quartz stairs. So underneath each one of the windows, except for the top window, this top window, we don't add anything underneath it, but underneath each one of the other windows, we just want to do three quartz. Then for this center part, this middle row of quartz that we have kind of bisect in the house, first of all, we just want to do a row of quartz block that kind of just goes in the center. If you guys can see, we want to have a quartz block that kind of kind of comes out by one row and it doesn't it doesn't extend all of the quartz out it kind of knocks one off each end if you guys can see what we've done there and then we want to do a row of quartz stairs that kind of goes all the way around what we've just made kind of as like a little porch or a little ledge kind of on the center of the house you guys know how some of these houses have and what you want to end up with is something that should look a little bit like this pretty simple guys and that's the front of the house pretty much complete once you've got the front of the house taken care of, we now want to move around to the back of the house. So, the back of the house is actually fundamentally the same, except there's one difference. The position of the entrance moves on the back. So, on the back of the house, we have a back door, and that back door is actually on the right-hand side here. And to do the back door, you actually just want to do the exact same thing that you did on the front. So, you just want to have your little archway of quartz, and you then want to have a white stained glass pane right in the center there. And we also just want to have the same little, same little walkway that we have for the entrance as well. We can then just fill in the rest of it exactly how we did the front. So for the front, we then just want to do, or the back I should say, for the back, we then just want to add two more windows, which are the exact same as all of the other windows of the house. And they're in the exact same row, in the exact same line. And they are also three wide and three tall as well. So... Uh, I'm also going to add these in, and that's the only difference between the front and the back, really. Instead of the entrance being in the middle, you've got the entrance on the right-hand side. Of course, if you wanted to, you could adjust this for your own personal house, if you wanted to change it so that the entrance was in the middle also on the back of the house, you could feel free to do so. So, that's the back bottom section of the house complete. Then the middle section and the top sections are the exact same, so there's no real reason to explain these, but uh, I will anyway actually. So you do your two rows of virtual planks, and then going from right to left as we have here, it's just the same pattern. It's like three glass, one birch, three glass, one birch, three glass. Then we have the exact same for the next two rows, and then the top row is comprised of birchwood planks and birchwood planks alone. So the back middle section of the house is the exact same as the front middle section of the house, which is why I'm not really trying to explain it very well and is why I'm not going into too much detail. You guys should be able to uh, build it just either from memory or just quite simply looking at the front of the house, which we can see right there. And then this little back top section, this is also identical to the front side of the house as well, where we're just doing the row of free birch, then two rows of free glass, and then it's birchwood planks everywhere else in the top middle section of the house. So. You just want to end up for the back of the house so far with something that should look a little bit like this. And once you've done that, all we have to do on the back now actually is we just want to do upside down quartz stairs underneath each one of the windows. On the back of the house, I didn't include any sort of like porch or anything like that. There's no sort of overhanging block that uh, that's included on the back of the house. It's just the like the window panes or fright not panes like the window sill or whatever, like the window ledge, there we go, we've just got the window ledge on the outside of the windows, and the back of the house just wants to look exactly like this, nice and simple guys, nice and simple, nothing much to it whatsoever. Which brings us on, once you've got that completed, guys, pause this if necessary, of course, if you're still working on that, which now brings us on to the size of the house, so we'll do the harder side of the house first of all, so come to the left hand side of your house, which is this side. Starting on the left hand side, you're going to want to, first of all, on this bottom bit, you're just going to want to add an extra layer of birchwood planks. Then, once you've added your extra layer of birchwood planks, going from left to right, you just want to do this. You do three glass pane, one birchwood plank, four glass pane, one birchwood plank, then three glass pane. 
like that. Then we add an extra two layers on top of that, and then we add birchwood planks at the top. So we just want to have something. Once I've just finished it, guys, it uh, it's really not too difficult whatsoever. You're just going to want to have something. Just got this middle row to do the hardest row. Uh, and there. So you want to have, for the bottom middle section, something that should look exactly like this. As you can see, very similar to what we have on the front and the back of the house. The only difference being is that that middle window is four wide instead of three wide. I decided to make the house ever so slightly longer than, or ever so slightly wider, I suppose. No, longer was right, ever so slightly longer than it was wider. Once you've done that to the bottom bit, you actually want to do the exact same thing to this top half as well. So you just want to do two rows of virtual planks, so that'll be one and two. And then it's the exact same thing, so it's like three glass, then one virtual plank will go there, then four glass, then one virtual plank will go there, then a three glass pane, and then it's just pretty much virtual planks everywhere else. And of course, we've got two rows on top of that, but it's the exact same thing that we uh, actually did to the bottom half of the house, and I'm sure that you guys won't have any trouble doing it. So we're just very clumsily placing some glass pane here. Very poorly. There we go. We've actually we've actually managed to do it. So the side of the house wants to look pretty much exactly like this. Oh, and of course, what we also have to do is we want to place upside down quartz stairs underneath each one of the windows, just so that we have window ledges. That's that's the only difference, guys. Whoops. There we go. Ah, there we go. So we just want to place upside down quartz stairs underneath each one of those windows just to give us window ledges, and that's what we want to have on the left-hand side of the house. Once you've got that taken care of on the left-hand side of the house, you now want to do almost the exact same thing on the right-hand side of the house. So, for the right-hand side of the house, for this bottom middle section, all you want to do is place a row of birchwood planks at the top here. So, for this bottom middle section on the right-hand side of the house, just do a row of birchwood planks at the top. That's all you have to do, as the garage is going to cover the rest of the space. So all you now want to do is fill in this top middle section on the right hand side, and we're just going to do this the exact same way that we did on the opposite side of the house. So we're going to do our two layers of virtual planks, and then of course the pattern's going to ensue. So three white, uh, three white glass, then one birch, then four white glass, one birch, three white glass, so on and so forth. You guys already know what you have to do, we've already done it once already, we've actually already done something similar like four different times already, so I'm sure that uh, it's actually more than that, isn't it? I forget how many windows are on this house, it's quite a lot, so we're just doing the exact same thing that we did on this opposite side to only the upper half of this side. Oh, and of course, I always forget about this, we also want to do the upside down quartz stairs, don't we? Underneath each one of the windows, so we have some nice window ledges. And this is what the right hand side of your house wants to look like. Again guys, don't worry, that bottom section will barely be visible, if not invisible, once we actually place the garage. So, that's what you want to have for the upper half of the right hand side of your house. What you now want to do is, I guess we'll take care of the house's roof, and then we'll do everything there is to do with the garage. So, what we're now going to do, guys, is we're going to do the roof. So, I suppose we'll come to the front left-hand side of the roof, because I always stay here, or I always start here, I should say, and this is how it works. So, you want to start off the roof by in line with this top row of quartz that we have for, like, the actual framework of the house. This first block is going to be quartz. Then all of the other blocks following along Alongside the outline of the roof, those blocks want to be... What is this material called again? Stone bricks. There we go. I always forget the name of the materials. Those want to be stone bricks. And it's the exact same story on the other side as well, like this first row. This is all going to be quartz stairs, and then all of the other rows are going to be stone bricks. Like that. The only difference is... On the, the overhanging layer that we're going to have in front of and on the back side of the house, the overhanging layer is also going to be quartz block, or quartz stairs I should say. So, let me just show you. Let me place all of the quartz that exists in the roof, and then it's just going to be easier to uh, place all of the stone brick part of the roof. So, we also have upside down what stairs to place underneath each one of the overhanging parts. So we want to have 
Let me see if I can get a good view. There you go, that's probably the best view that you can, you can get. This is what the roof wants to look like, guys. As you can see, like, the first row and the overhanging part of the roof is all quartz, and then the actual middle section of the roof is stone bricks. So, for instance, this first row that kind of traces along the top part of the house, this is all quartz, and also the overhanging part. And as I've already showed you on the front, this middle part is going to be stone bricks. So we're just going to do all of the quartz first, just because I think it will be easier. And then we can do all of the stone brick parts. So uh, that's that there. And that's not even the right block. That's the stairs there. And then we can do the overhanging part. And then we'll do that part. Oh, and also at the top of the roof, and I'm saying this out loud so I don't forget myself. Um, I'm also going to have to add a layer of quartz slab on top of the apex of the roof so we're just doing the overhanging part and then the next bit is really really easy no no fiddly bits whatsoever and once we've taken care of the actual big house part of the roof we can then do the garage and the garage has a very similar roof setup as well so uh, that's the back part the tedious part of the back done we're just adding a layer of quartz stairs now and now all we have to do is just connect the front and the back part of the roof together and we're just doing this with uh, stone brick stairs and of course if you don't want to use stone brick stairs if for some reason you want to stick to quartz or whatever you whatever you want to use it could be a type of wood uh, if you wanted to use birch wood stairs uh, that'd probably look fine as well i just wanted to have three different colors involved uh i uh i, I don't know I, I wanted something a little different but that's just me we just about have one side of the roof done here and now we're moving on to the opposite side with our stone brick stairs and we're now just at building up from the bottom all the way up to the top of the stairs here so to the top of the stairs to the top of the roof is what i meant so we're just building this up building 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 and we'll soon be done and we then also have to i'm so bad with this controller and then we have to just put the icing on the cake which is going to be the quartz slab so you want to end up so far without the slabs involved with something that should look a little bit like this is and it's a pretty cool looking roof isn't it guys looks pretty good this is how it looks better once you've reached that point right there you just then want to add a layer of quartz slab right on the top and it just makes a little bit of a difference it actually makes a world of difference to me i actually think it makes it look a lot better and you'll then end up with something that should look exactly like this guys that is what the roof wants to look like very nice looking roof i would definitely recommend the stone bricks now once you've got all of that taken care of this is what you want to do next so that is the actual house part of this done that's the house bit completely taken care of what we now want to do is come all the way down to the bottom right hand side of the house and going right of this bottom right hand corner block that we have right here you want to right next to this starting from the bottom coming up do a row of five quarts so that's one two three four five then go right of that fifth block by six so that's one two three four five six and then connect that six block to the ground like so to give you an archway shape what you then want to do is starting from on top of this block right here you guys can see the one i mean you want to place a quartz then do two up right diagonal so uh, that'll be one and two then do two bottom right diagonals to connect to the top part of the garage roof like that and what you want to do once you've done this on the front of the house, once you've got your archway and the little triangular shape, once you've done that on the front, you now want to come all the way to the back of the house and you want to do the exact same thing. So starting from this corner block right here, we want to do a row of five block of quartz coming up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then we want to go left by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then connect that six block to the ground like so. We then are starting from on top of this block, want to place a diagonal or a single quartz and then do two up right diagonal so that's one and two then do two up bottom right diagonals to connect to the top part of the roof of the garage and once you've done that on the front and the back all you want to do is you just want to connect this corner block that we have right here all the way to the front side so you just want to connect the front part of the garage all the way to the back part of the garage like that it's really simple so you just want to end up with something that should look exactly like this what we now want to do is this, we're now going to fill in the walls of the garage, it's really easy. So for the bottom part, you just want to start off by placing an upside down stone brick stairs 
right in the center front part of the garage. Maybe you need some surrounding blocks to make it a little easier. So we just want to have an upside down stone brick stair right there at the bottom center of the garage. And that's just the thing, you know how you can like pull a garage up manually? That's what that is, that's what the stone brick is. And what you then want to do, you just want to fill all of the other bottom walls of the garage in with birch wood planks. That's all you have to do. So we're now just doing the side part then we'll be filling the back part in with birchwood planks as well. Then we've just got a tiny little triangular shape to kind of fill in at the top there. And then we have to do the roof. And the roof is actually quite easy because it's the exact same, except on a smaller scale, the exact same roof that we've already done. So those are all of the sides filled in, guys. Uh, for this little top triangular bit, you just want to place a white stained glass pane in the center. And then you actually want to place stone bricks in the center, regular stone bricks, which I actually didn't grab. I, I completely forgot to grab them, but, uh, you know, live and learn as you do. So, white stained glass pane in the center, stone bricks everywhere else. I'm aware that this is silverfish, but it doesn't really matter. It's the exact same thing. So, you want to end up with something that should so far look like this. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, we now want to do the exact same thing to this roof as we did to the much larger roof. So, it's the exact same practice. It's the first row, and anything that overhangs is going to be quartz. And then everything else is just stone bricks. So, that's exactly what I'm doing. I don't think it requires too much instruction, guys. I'm sure that you, uh, you'll you be able to figure this out. So, we also have to do this on the other side. It's a little awkward due to the positioning, but you know, got to, got to deal. Actually, it might be easier from this position. It might be, there we go. That's much easier. And then uh, block here and here. Did that do it? Is that all facing the right way? It is. And then we have to do this row as well, which is also very awkward. Come on, stop it. Do you have to be awkward, game? Do you have to be? You don't have to be, I know you don't. And then this row, this also has to be stone brick stairs. Then we will make the ends quartz stairs, as you guys already know. Here. And we also want to do the other side. So we do actually want to come as far in as here. You want to do like in front of the house. I'll show you guys. It'll be a little easier to show you once I've actually done it. So... You want to, the, the roof actually for the garage wants to like come in onto the house if you guys can see. Despite the fact that we don't have the first row of quartz there, we still want it to come out of the front of the house if you guys can see exactly what I've done there. And then of course we have to do upside down quartz stairs underneath each one of those overhanging layers like that. Then we want to do the exact same thing on the back. So we then come to the back and then we do our overhanging layer of quartz stairs. And then we do the upside down part, and remember it comes as far down, come on. Then it comes as far down as there, like coming out of the back of the house there. And then we just do the upside down quartz stairs right here. To give us something which should look exactly like this so far. Nice. All we have to do now is just do a row of quartz slab directly on top of the roof and you'll have then finished the garage, and you'll also have finished the house. So the garage just wants to look exactly like this, guys. Nice and easy, nothing too difficult about it whatsoever. It's just a light, nice little mini version of the house itself. Now, once you've got that taken care of, you have actually 100% fully completed the structure of your house. It's done, guys, it's finished. There's no more, however, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go away, I'm going to mess about with the interior and the exterior of the house just a little bit, not too much guys, just a little bit, and then I'm going to be back once I have completed all of my shenanigans messing about with the house. I'm not doing too much, but I am going to show you guys what this will look like if you do mess about with it ever so slightly. I won't be, I won't be tutorial anything that I'm going to show you, I'm just showing it you guys just so that you can see what will happen. Back in a moment. Alright guys, so as you can see, I have messed about with the outside of the house ever so slightly. I've also done a little bit to the interior as well. Let's take a look, shall we? So we will start with the inside of the house 
first of all. So coming to the inside of the house, this is the ground floor here. All I've really done is I've added a floor, which I decided to use birchwood planks for. I've added in a staircase, and I also added an entrance into the garage. So the garage is here. It's one level down in relation to the actual house itself. And there's, a, there's quite a fair amount of space in the garage, to be honest. There's, there's actually a lot more space in this garage than some of the other houses that I've made, especially my miniature houses. That's a little crazy, but that's the downstairs of the house. I've also lit it up quite a bit as well. I also included a window into the garage. It looks kind of cool, or at least I think so. So, this is a staircase. You can kind of put these wherever you want. Uh, the reason that I chose to put the staircase on the left-hand side, or at least the left-hand side from where I am now, this perspective, I just kind of wanted to avoid the back entrance and the actual entrance to the house, and I kind of just figured it would be out of the way here. It didn't obstruct with any form of entrance. So, uh, coming up to the the second floor here. Um, pretty much the exact same thing as the ground floor missing at the garage entrance however. We've just put a, put a floor in here and we've also added in a staircase the exact same one that I used to get up to the second floor as well. Uh, something that I will point out with the second floor, I, ac I actually decided to make it like two blocks thick um, because I'm not entirely sure why. Actually, I do know why. So, you guys can see from the outside of the house, we have, like, just above here, you won't be able to see it, we have the row of quartz that kind of, like, bisects the house. Well, I added a floor in there, and then I realized that in doing that, I was still, like, one block away from the windows. Like, I wanted to be able to, like, see out of the windows without having to jump up like a midget. So, I decided to make the floor two blocks thick instead of just one block thick. So, uh, I decided to make the second floor two blocks big, but that's just because I kind of wanted everything to be balanced. Uh, you didn't have to do that. I could have just made the floor one block higher as is, but I decided not to do that because I'm a little crazy. So, moving up to the attic here, fair amount of space in the attic. I decided to use a different flooring up here. I decided to use quartz, and uh, we can see out of the windows here, which I also very much like. A fair amount of space in the attic as well. This this house is actually pretty big. It doesn't look massive from the outside, but it's a, it's a pretty decent sized house, and that's pretty much everything that I have to show you with the interior, guys. Let me work my way out of here, and we can have a look at the outside. So, the outside isn't so great to be honest with you guys so I added a little footpath to the front of the house I also added a little bit of a driveway I should have probably have replaced that block underneath there that should be stone but hey I missed it. Um, the only thing that I actually like with the outside of the house, you can see I put a fence around it. I like the fact that I added a hedge that goes all the way around the house. I like these two little footpaths, but I don't like what I did with the fence. I mean, I don't know whether I'd like the fence a little more if I put something underneath it. Like, let's say I put quartz underneath the fence. Let's let's say I did that. Maybe if maybe if I did that, I'd like it a little bit more. Do you guys think that this would look a little bit better if I like put quartz underneath? All all of the fence and like went all the way around the house. I actually think I, I would like that a little better because not only would then the the footpath connect to the driveway but everything would then connect together but then we have that going there but then if we then move the fence from there to here that might look a little better still, just so that we don't have to place any more rogue quartz. I think that that'd actually look a little bit better if I did, like, quartz around all the way around, like, underneath the fence. I think that then the house would actually look a little bit better still. Like, give me a second, guys. Let me do this. You know what, guys? After messing about with the exterior a little bit more, I'm actually really starting to like what I've done to the outside of the house. I didn't originally like it, which is what I was going to tell you guys, because I just had, like, a little bit of a fence going around the house, and I didn't really do too much, but now that we've got kind of, like, the quartz underneath the fence, and we've kind of added, like, a proper back garden into this, I've even added a pool and a big giant flower bed. I actually like the look of this house now. It actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Or at least I think so. I think it, I think it's actually made the world a difference. I, I really, really like this, and it's not really difficult in the slightest to do either. It's, it's really easy. It's just a little bit of quartz, a little bit of fence, 
Um, for the pool, it's just a little bit of quartz, a little bit of water, and the flower beds are really easy as well. That's basically just like dirt block and red flowers on top with a little bit of stone underneath and some uh, some trap doors, of course, going all the way around. But I actually really, really like the exterior of this house now, and it, it, it took like an extra five minutes to do. I'm quite happy, actually. So hopefully you guys like this house as well. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. This is my favorite view of the house, by the way. If you did like this house, if you did manage to make it, I would really appreciate it if you guys could give me a like, share, favorite, anything you'd feel like doing to help me out. I would really appreciate it, guys. I love it when you guys show me love. It helps me out no end. Uh, feel free to check out in the card system any other house tutorials that I've made. All of them are in there in both the card system and in the description below. Just go into the various playlists. Feel free to comment down below what sort of house would you like to see next? I, I kind of just decided to make a little something different this time and I suppose that that's it guys. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>